postural analysis right now. Um, starting at your feet, I can tell that your left foot has less of an arch on it than your right foot does. So it seems to be even. So you are bending slightly to your right, and you are leaning forward, which is making your ASIS really uneven. And in turn, your left shoulder is higher than your right and seems <laughs> to be carrying a little more tension up there. So what I'm going to have to do now is say stop it. And check here. You can be hyperflexing your knee on your left side. And your head seems to be slightly leaning forward. Okay, and now face the television for me. Yeah, it's already poked back there. Okay, in through here? Yeah. Alright, how high does it go? Right about there, yeah. Right about that's there. really tender. Okay, and is it just on the left side? Uh, yeah, it doesn't come on the right side. Okay. Perfect, and I'm just going to get you to face this wall now for me. Not as much hyperflexion on this one as on the other one. Your head's sitting still a little bit forward than it should have. Okay, great. We're going to move on and we're going to do um, a gait analysis. So what I'm going to get you to do is we're going to walk down the hall this way and I'm just going to observe the way that you walk. <laughs> Well, it's more so my left side is where I'm feeling it, but okay, I'm a little back. I did notice that you were leaning to the right to almost try and like you're getting away from the pain. Uh, favoring a little bit when you walked with a little bit of a limp and you were arching your back quite a bit, almost like a bit of uh, hyperlordosis. Um, so now I'm going to get this okay with you, do a couple orthopedic tests to rule out a couple things and to see if I can figure out what exactly is getting up in your low back. Sure. I actually feel a relief of pain when I do that. Oh, do you? Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, so now we're going to lean as far as you can backwards without kind of pushing your hips. So okay. you can just lean back. <sighs> no, not pain, right? It's that pain. same spot. My In the left, same spot on the left side? Left low back, yes. Can you point to it? Right about here. Right in through there. Does it come down at all? No, it's more like right in that area, I feel. Okay. It. Okay, so now I'm going to get you to have your arms down by your side and you're going to lean as far as you can down to one side. Good? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this side is it? Oh. Okay, I'm going to go down to one side. Good, and you're reaching about the same distance on both sides, which is good. Um, next, I'm going to get you to cross your arms and I'm just going to get you to twist as far as you can to your left. Good, I'll try and just kind of keep my hips straight. Good. 
good. And same to your right. No pain on either of those? Good. All right, so that's all the movements for active, so I'm just going to repeat them now, and I'm going to do the movement for you. So I'm going to get you to sit on the edge of the I'm just going to brace you across here, and I'm just going to lean forward underneath your leg. You have full weight of your body. Let me know if you feel anything while doing this. We're just basically testing um, the non-contractile uh, structures in your back. So if you do feel pain at any point, then we'll know that it's non-muscular. Right about there. Pain there, too? Same spot, Same left spot. low back. Okay, perfect. Right towards the middle. Okay, so I'm going to get you to swing your leg around to the other side of the table. Now I'm going to be doing the last set of this. So bring your arms up. I'm just going to be flipping you to your side. Let me know if you feel any pain there. No. Okay, perfect. And then to the other side. Nothing there. Nothing there either. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to bring your arms up and then to see me. So I'm just going to twist you. No pain there? Nothing. Good. And then this way. No pain? Nope. Perfect. So the last thing we're going to do here with the ranges of motion is called asymmetric resistive, which is basically going to be seeing whether or not you are willing to, or your muscles are actually able to hold a contraction. So we're going to start uh, with your rotation. So I need you to try and rotate towards me and I'm just going to resist you. Ready, set, go. Good. Relax. No pain there? No. Nothing there? Ready? Good. Now, um, across your chest, and you're going to try and lean towards me. Okay. So we'll last little step down. Good. Same on this side. Good. Alright. Alright. Now, this time, we're going to put the pillow, you can swing your legs back around to the front of the table. Alright. I'm going to get you to fold this pillow again, and I'm just going to fold you here, and I'm going to try have you try and flex forward. Go. Good? Yep. And then we'll do the same across this back. Ready? Go. And the last one. Good. So those are all five out of five on our strength scale, which is awesome. So now try it. <laughs> further determine what it may be causing your lumbar back pain. So the first test that I'm going to do is called the single leg raise test and basically it's looking for whether or not you may have uh, a disc herniation or a nerve root uh, compression going on or whether or not it could be SI or a lumbar spine strain or sprain. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be having you lie flat on your back and I'm going to be bringing your leg all the way up to about 90 degrees. If at any point you do feel either a local pain or pain rating down in your leg, I need you to let me know so that I can further... I'm going to start by getting you to slide up the table a little bit and then lie down flat on your back. So we're going to start with your unaffected side that you weren't feeling any pain on. So I'm going to lift your right leg up. You shouldn't feel any pain here. Nope. Good. All right, now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I need you to let me know where you, or if you feel any pain. No pain there. No pain at all? Okay, great. So next I'm just going to do Braggers test. Um, it's also going to be uh, reproducing the pain that you may have felt or may not have felt, but this time I'm going to be dorsiflexing your foot. Um, so we're only going to do it on your affected side. So again, just let me know if you feel any pain. So I'm going to bring your leg up a little bit. I'm going to dorsiflex and then I'm going to pull you further in. No pain? No. Nope. Okay, perfect. Alright, so those are both negative tests, which means that you don't have a disc herniation or a nerve root compression, which is good. So the next test that I'm going to do is called Kemp's test. going to be looking for whether or not you feel any localized pain in your lower spine. Uh, 
probably in around this area. If you do, it could be indicative of uh, facet irritation. So what I'm going to get you to do now is you're going to sit up and we're going to stand over here. So for this test, you're going to be going into extension and then you're going to be reaching down your one leg. So we'll start with the unaffected side. So on your right, and I'm going to get you to lean slightly back and down to the right. Good, and back up. No, for now we're going to do the same test, but on your left side this time. So I'm going to get you to go into extension again, and this time we're going to lean and reach down on that left side. Yeah, that's too much that's pain. That's too much pain. And where exactly are you feeling that pain? Right by the low back, that's low the back. spine. Okay, so very localized. Okay, so that is actually a positive uh, result for Kemp's test. Uh, positive local back pain uh, just generally indicates a local back lesion. So that could be with your facets, it could be a local sprain or strain. other tests that we have done today though you did test negative for the disc herniations and the nerve root compressions which is good but because you are feeling the pain on back extension both actively and passively um, and with the positive Kemp's test it does kind of suggest that you are experiencing some form of facet irritation in your lower lumbar spine so they can further confirm my clinical impression from today that you are experiencing lower lumbar facet syndrome on the left side. But for now, um, with massage therapy, I can work with you to help reduce your pain and help you relax a little bit and hopefully loosen up the surrounding tissue of the facet. So hopefully we can decompress them a little bit and help you get rid of some of the pain that you are experiencing. All right.